Hey guys, Brian here with Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. Today we're going to be installing the Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard for the Marlin 1894. It fits all Marlin rifles, but with the smaller calibers you have to use a small spacer, which is basically two small washers. You put them on either side of where the barrel clamp was. So let's get started. First off, make sure your gun is unloaded. You can see I got a chamber flag in here. I'm going to remove that. Nothing in the gun. Go ahead and drop my hammer. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Tipton gun vise, a little bit different than it's meant, but it'll get the job done. Put a little bean bag on the back, give me a little extra weight. I'm gonna be working out here, so I need it as far forward as I can get and be able to access the handguard. For this installation, all we gotta do is remove these two screws for the end cap and then remove the magazine tube follower, pull the magazine tube loose so we can pull all this off of here and then reassemble without. So without further ado, I am going to pop these two screws out for the end cap. Very small screws. You don't want to lose them like I almost did. Make sure you have a tray handy so that you can keep up with them. Sorry, you guys can't see this side, but it is just a screw. Okay, now this is all loose. What I have to do is remove this end cap and spring, and this is under tension. It shouldn't come out right now, but when I lift up on the magazine tube, it will go flying if I don't keep pressure on it. So, be ready. When you lift, okay, and here it comes. And there's my pretty follower from Ranger Point Precision. Alrighty, pull that end cap off. I don't need it anymore. Pull the magazine tube loose, pull the handguard off. I'm gonna go ahead and put my follower back in the port. And then I'm gonna run my magazine spring down the tube, get it lined up with the opening on the follower, and commence to sliding this magazine spring back down the tube, this is always the fun part because it gets a lot of pressure built up on it and it's very easy for it to go flying as you're attempting to do this. For the last little bit, get your end cap and make sure you have it oriented with the big hole down so that it will line up with that stud off the top of the barrel or the bottom of the barrel and then reinstall your end cap screw for the magazine tube. Okay, now comes the fun part. We are going to install this rail, and if you had a 4570, you would just simply install it like that right there, but we don't have a 4570. So, I have two small washers that have to be installed on either side of this mounting block for the handguard, and that can be very difficult to get lined up, so I'm going to use a piece of tape to hold this on there and I will remove this tape once I've started the installation. This will just hold everything in place for me a lot easier than not having it. It may look a little goofy, but it will get the job done. I don't want to put it wrapping under the underside because then I can't access the tape. With it on top, I can access it. So, slide that bad boy down on there, slide everything into place, make sure it is lined up properly, and it is. Okay, since I've got to install this Loctite, I'm going to use a towel just to make sure, a paper towel, just to make sure I don't get it all over everything. So, I'm just going to snip just the very corner off of this. And ooh, that stuff runs. Okay. You want to apply just a drop of this stuff to these threads. Okay. And now, Okay. 
get the proper Allen wrench for it. They supply three for the different screws you've got. Okay, I've got my Allen wrench. And I'm going to start with this screw because I can see it easier. Having that washer already inserted really helps with this process because there's no question it's where I need it to be. Apply a second drop of Vibratite to the other screw. Now, this one might be a little more difficult. And there we go. And now I'm gonna pull this tape out. There we go. Before I get these screws tight, I want to put my rear tensioning screw in. I'm gonna put just a drop of Loctite on that, or Vibratite, and, oh man, it went everywhere. When you put this screw in, you want to pull the handguard to its downward most position, which is uppermost, when the gun is upside down as it is right now. So, slowly start this. You don't want to cross thread it. And you do not want to tighten this against the barrel. You just want it to be snug to help keep tension. You can look through these holes on the handguard to see where your screw is at. And when you feel tension, that's where you stop. Okay, I'm going to go back to tightening these up. I don't have my torque wrench handy. We're in the process of building a homestead and a lot of things are packed away. So I'm going to just make it nice and tight. You don't want to strip it out. It is aluminum that you're tightening into, so just make it good and snug. And that bad boy is on there. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. Very quick and easy install. One thing I failed to mention is the geometry stays the same. You can see the hand guards the same length here to the sling point. But nice thing is you have an added few inches off the end past the sling mounting point. It just gives you a little more to grip if you need to. And I really like the look of this. It gives you a lot more protection and coverage over the barrel. Additionally, if the barrel is getting extremely hot because you're doing a lot of shooting, this is going to dissipate the heat a lot better than that wooden handguard is. And I just, I love the way this looks. It's a really nice, sleek finish. Midwest Industries did a phenomenal job building this thing. And now I'm already thinking about putting one on my 4570. <laughs> I really like the look of this and just the feel. It feels lighter on this end. I don't know if it is or not, but it feels that way. Really happy with it. I know a lot of guys aren't very fond of the M-Lock handrails, but it is a tool in this application for us because we're building a homestead and we're out in the country. So I'm going to mount a light on the end of this and we've got hogs in the area. We've got coyotes in the area. There's a black bear in the area. And this is something that I or my wife can run with ease. It's a great tool to have accessible because at night we can take care of whatever needs to be handled. And this doesn't intimidate my wife like an AR does. There's far few moving parts and it's, it's going to do the job. And I think it's going to do it really well, especially with all these upgrades. Hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. Check the description below. You'll see links to all the videos in the series. And if you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It lets us know you like what we're producing and you want us to produce more of it. And that's about it, guys. Have a good one.